Hi everyone. So I'm learning how to create plugins for uh, Sourcebit, which is a open source project that allows you to connect data from things like a headless CMS to a Jamstack site. It's totally extensible and you can write your own plugin. So I've written the one that works with the WordPress API. Um, it's not something I'd consider production ready yet, but it does work for my purposes. Um, you can see I have a, a local test site that I'm running with, with a bunch of content here on WordPress using local. Um, and I have a site here built with Hugo that, as you can see, also has no content at the moment. So I'm going to go into my um, command line and I'm going to run uh, create source bit to launch the, the configuration process. You can see I've supplied a JSON file that has information about my local plugin that I'm going to use for testing purposes. So here I'm going to choose that plugin. I'm going to choose Transform Assets. I'm going to choose Hugo as my target, and then let's go ahead and install the plugins, and then run me through configuring what those plugins need to work. So in this case, it's asking me for the WordPress API URL, which is my local site here. It verifies that that exists and functions. Um, I'm going to choose Other for the Assets location, and the location is it's going to be static slash images because this is Hugo, and then the actual URL, it's shift slash images. I'm going to do both posts and pages. Both are collections of entries. The location is going to be other. The location will be um, for <coughs> posts will be content slash posts. The field to generate the file name from is going to be actually the slug. The name of the template is a static value. We're going to call it post. Um, do I want to add a date? No, because it already exists in, in the content. So and then the content is going to be from that content field. And this is also a collection of entries. It is actually just going to go in content. The field to generate from is also slug. The static value is just page. And then I do not want a date field. Content comes from content. All right, it's all done. Now we're ready to actually run. Um, Speed. So I'm going to run the fetch here. It's going to go ahead and use the configuration file I created to fetch all the content. As you can see, it's all filled in here. You can actually browse the pages, and they exist, and all the images have been pulled locally so that it, it uh, all works locally using Hugo. So I recommend you check out the tutorial on how to create a Sourcebit plugin, or if you're just curious about Sourcebit in general, I have a tutorial on how to use Sourcebit for your local development, and uh, I look forward to hearing what you what you do with the project. Thanks.